what motivated me to pursue acting is that I've always loved it, um, but I was kind of too afraid to give it a shot. But then I got older, moved to New York City with all the inspiration, and was like, let's give this a shot. And I got really, really lucky, but I've always loved it and always wanted to do it. The backstory behind me getting the role is that my manager at the time saw the breakdown and I was like, this is perfect for Ronnie. She submitted my photo and then I had an audition. It went really well, but I didn't hear anything for about two weeks. And then I finally got a call back and I was like, yay. Um, and then I had the call back with uh, Brian Murphy, uh, Brad Falchuk, Ian Brennan, and Alexa Pogel, the casting director. And I booked it and I got really, really, really lucky. And uh, then I was in LA uh, in a week and with that, the following week and it's been a whirlwind ever since. The idea of uh, honing in on voter registration in, in season two was definitely important. I think we are uh, living in a moment that uh, uh, the 2020 election is probably the most important le ele election of our lifetime. And I think if you're going to have a show, you should probably do your due diligence in encouraging the masses to do what's right and get out the vote. My favorite scene to play in this uh, this season would be the cultural appropriation scene. I think it was, uh, obviously it happened before uh, the Black Lives Matter movement really took off uh, this year, but uh, cultural appropriation has been a long-standing issue, um, you know, with the, the, black, the black community feeling like being taken advantage of in certain respects, and I, I, I felt empowered in that moment to to, to, to give that speech, so that was my favorite one. Working with Ryan Murphy is an honor and a dream come true. I mean, I've watched every, every single thing he's, he's ever done, and uh, he's very collaborative. He always wants you to do well, and he encourages you to kind of play with the scene and, and, and play off your, your scene partner, and so he just really wants you to do well, and he's a big fangirl, and he's just a fan of everyone he works with, which is great. The backstory behind my love of hats is that uh, my grandfather used to wear them all the time, and I was like obsessed with him. He had like a tattoo from his um, uh, time in the service, so I got a lot of tattoos because of him, but he was always wearing a hat, and then I fell in love with him, and I think they just make every outfit great. I think that Hollywood has made some progress as far as LGBTQI uh, representation. I mean, I, I'm on a show. I do think that there uh, is room for growth still. I don't think that we're all there. I think that the change uh, that can happen is to be able to tell stories that don't center on the, the, the white gaze of the LGBTQIA community. There are varying stories that, needs to, that need to be told. And, uh, while we've made progress, there's still room to grow. I mean, I'm trying to bring awareness to certain causes because I feel like if I'm given this platform, it would be a disservice to my community not to use it in a positive way. And um, we, black people in particular, have struggled for so long, and I feel like it's my duty as a black person and also as a person with platform to speak on these matters and like I said it would, it, I would not be uh, doing my job if I didn't uh, try to bring awareness. <laughs> so Quality Felt started after uh, a friend of mine had a, a craft party and felting uh, was was there <laughs> and so I decided to take that with me because I fell in love with it and it's super cathartic because you can take a styrofoam ball and just poke at it over and over and over again and then create a super cute uh, creation and uh, yeah and then I made an Instagram behind it because I'm me so if you want to follow that it's called quality belts because they're obviously high quality and when I say high quality I mean not high quality so <laughs> learned about myself during quarantine is that I'm I'm okay with downtime like it has given me a, a time to really center myself and figure out what I want um, 
it has taught me that I really, really, really love my fiance because we are cooped up in the same apartment <laughs> for <laughs> the last three months and we haven't driven each other crazy. So that's a good sign. Um, and what I've learned about the world is that it's a bit uh, uh, divided in America particularly. And I just hope that uh, we can all come together uh, to be able to go back to a sense of 